hi welcome to my youtube channel so please before you continue to watch this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by hitting the subscribe button so today i'm going to discuss with you on how to actually block domain address how do you block an email address from, se from sending spam or malware mails to your emails so first of all to actually block domain address or email address what you need to do you need to log on to your office 365 portal and then hit the admin button so this is going to open uh, the um, admin center is going to open in a new browser here in the uh, microsoft 365 admin center just click show all and here in the admin centers we have the we have exchange so click on exchange and this is going to open the exchange admin center so to create um, a filter whereby when someone decided to send an email to your company and you suspect that that email actually um, belongs to someone who is sending spam mail to your mails so you can actually block that mail by doing the following so let's go to protection and here you see we have the malware filter and we also have the spamware filter so what, what what we want to do is actually create a spamware filter so click on the spam filter and here we have the option to actually create the filter so on the plus so, plus sign which says new just click on this and here we're going to we're going to give this filter policy and then let me just call this um, blocked domains and emails so you know we have two options here we can actually allow some emails um, if for example um, our policies is, is blocking some domain or email we can decide to actually we have the allow here as well which is the allow domain and allow sender but I will advise you to create a, a, a new filter a new policy for that so you can create one policy and just call it blocked and the other one should be allow so what we need you can as well give a description here so actually um if you are not the only one who is in charge of the exchange admin center you can give a description to actually give the reason why you are actually creating this policy so here we have the what we actually want to to do so what what does this policy do we say move message to junk folder or we can delete the message automatically or we can as well send this message to quarantine Mess, um, to our quarantine message so which means the message will not be delivered but the the users may actually send an email to the help desk and says well i suspect someone has sent an email to us and i uh, believe the email is being quarantined so we can actually let me just poof, um, just move message to junk email folder and i'm going to do the same for high confidence spam mail so it says the return spam mail is for 15 days after 15 days that mail will be deleted or we can decide to just delete the message the the email delete the, the mail as well so i'm going to create actually um a sender's list here by add, clicking on the plus sign to add a block to add a sender which i'm going to block so i'm just going to add the following sender info at global at global.com and click ok and i'm going to also add a domain which is going to be just global.com so you can see the example here which says contoso.com so just click ok and here we have the allow list um so well i would prefer that you create two policy instead of just creating one create just create two policy for your blog domains and uh, email address and one for your allow domains as well so don't use the same policy for both i think it will be actually confusing to uh, maybe someone who is not managing your exchange admin center so and also we have the international um, spam we can as well filter email message routine in the following language and we also have the advanced option as well so here we're going to select that this uh, specify the user group or domain from whom this policy applies by creating recipient base rule so i'm going to select the following um the recipient domain is so here i just have two options which i'm going to select the um, private ictls.be so just add this and click ok so we can actually create an exception as well you see we can as well add, uh, add an exception and says the recipient domain is you understand so but for now i'm going to apply 
to just to the users group or domain for whom this policy applies by creating a recipient based rule so we are just going to apply to this domain which is the only domain in my environment I'll click save so as you can see the um the rules is being um, updated and been saved so right now it says the update arm is complete so it's done just click ok and saving completed successfully click ok and here you can see we have the option of the block domain so right now to add um a domain address or an email address to this list what you just need to do is to just double click on this list and here we have the block list so here we just need to just add let me just add a new user let me just add for example um info sorry info at ninja.com and just click ok and here we can just click save so it says saving completed successfully so that's how you can actually do the same for your blocked domains domain block list as well thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video my name is kelvin johnson please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and just hit the like button for taking my time to create this video thank you very much and see you next time bye